So the question that drives the research that we do is why do we swing like we do? And um, constraint-based theory says, you know, the environment. So for example, I grew up playing in uh, England and it was very windy all the time. And so, you know, as people know, British play a ground-based game, but not always, but you know, it can affect how you swing. Uh, personal constraints would be the picture of um, our friend Billy there. And, you know, he's six foot seven tall with a six foot two wingspan. And Mike and Gio look like they're four foot two in, in the picture. And then there's task constraints. So task constraint would be, you know, hit the ball between those trees and things like that. And that's where, you know, playing golf, as I said on an interview yesterday, the best lesson that I had doing all the testing we did was um, you know, learning how much the, the game drives us to swing in the way we do. So, you know, what we're talking a lot about here is the personal constraint of the way you're built. And then what I'm going to talk about with this uh, grip study is how your uh, outcome drives your, your swing. So what is a grip? So it's a really important question to ask. If we all sat down and talked about the grip, then we would assume, you know, that we all have the same idea of what a grip is. So you can see here, this is uh, Jordan Spieth, um, has, tends to have a very weak grip. Uh, Rory McIlroy is a um, strong left hand and weak right hand. Up on the top right, that's uh, Shane Lowry, and he's strong, strong. And then the bottom there, we've got Siwoo Kim, who's got one of the weaker grips on tour and also hits a uh, pretty flat ball flight. How did this all come about? So we did a bunch of testing. That's JJ Spawn and um, James Hahn. We had a whole day where we had just a ton of tour players come through and support us, which was, uh, which was really great. The question we went into it was, um, you know, how does changing the grip affect club delivery and ball flight? So when we changed grips, we, we immediately see the club delivery numbers change. And so when we try and hit it straight with different grips, we change our swing instantaneously. Like the next swing will be a big difference. And the consequences on the club are very predictable. So the stronger grip is, but if you aim straight and you strengthen your grip and you try and hit the golf ball, that it's ending up at the target, then your attack angle is going to go up with a stronger grip, uh, down with a weaker grip. The path will change, the loft will change because the timing of the release is different. Uh, face angle relative to the path and the target will change. And the contact point in the face will change, which is pretty interesting. Uh, launch angle in the ball flight, the launch angle changes, the spin changes, the ball speed changes because of the loft and the contact point. And then the carry and total relationship changes because the ball flight is going to be different. And, you know, we've put this into the software where it becomes very um, predictable. So loft affects how the, the vertical component of contact. So the weaker somebody grips it, they're going to hit it lower on the face. The stronger they grip it, they, they're going to hit it a little bit higher on the face. Just accept that as true based on uh, the study. So this is uh, Justin Thomas's grip. So we, we tested him and also have some of his data here. He hits up on it three degrees, um, has a very low spin rate because he hits it high on the face. And you can see he's got a stronger grip. This is Brooks Kupka, who has a weaker grip. And you can see here he, he tends to hit down on it. His swing direction is more to the left. And the spin is 2,700 versus 1,800. So 